Good morning. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily and welcome to a day in my life on the Disney College program. I don't have work today. It's actually my day off. So I thought that I would vlog and take you along with me. Um, it's currently Saturday. It's 9.45. Um, I woke up at like 8.45, been up for like an hour, just kind of like laying on my phone. My sister actually FaceTimed me, so yeah. But I'm gonna get up, so let's just get into it. Like I said, I do have the day off today. I haven't really decided what I wanna do. We aren't blocked out of Magic Kingdom, which um, cast members have been blocked out of Magic Kingdom since, um, I wanna say all of June. There's only been like one or two days that we haven't been. So I haven't been to Magic Kingdom to like ride rides and like as a guest in forever. So I'm considering going there. I made a reservation just before they filled up, but I don't know. Um, we'll see kind of what I'm up for. First things first, I'm gonna make my bed. All right, bed is made. I'm gonna probably switch gears over into the kitchen and make myself breakfast and a coffee because I'm hungry. So let's do that. Before I go out to make breakfast and doing like super quick skincare, just wash my face with my, um, Cetaphil? Yeah, my Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. And then I just put on some of this the Ordinary, this is like the Niacinamide Serum stuff. It's gonna focus. Hello, yeah. Um, it's like a really high percentage of niacinamide, so I don't know if it's breaking me out or not, but I feel like it has helped with my texture. Like I'm not as like bumpy and pory, so I think it is helping. And then I'm just taking some Cetaphil moisturizer. And then lastly, this is the ordinary. These are like the caffeine drop stuff. It's like an under eye treatment, I guess. Um, this stuff, like, I have found that it does help because my under eyes are so like puffy and or they were way worse. They were like super like dark and puffy. I feel like this has definitely helped brighten them. So I only take like a little bit and I just kind of dab it underneath my eyes. My skin is very much like less is more when you put too much on it, it freaks out. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing in the morning. Now let's go make breakfast. Super quickly whipped up some avocado toast with an egg. Well, I made two of them. Um, they're just chilling right here on my gluten-free bread. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna make a coffee. We're gonna try something new today. I, I, well, what am I doing? I'm trying to like find somewhere to put my camera. You're gonna be backlit, unfortunately. But by trying something new, I mean, we're just trying it because I don't have my little milk frother thing, but I've made this before. This is also quite literally what I get from Starbucks, but I bought brown sugar so I can make a brown sugar oat milk um, espresso. Like normally I like will froth it up together or I will like shake it, but I don't have anything to like shake it in. So we're just gonna go for it. Um, in the least toxic way possible, I like always used to be so triggered making my own drinks like this because I would see how much sugar you actually had to put in it to like make it legitimate and it would like trigger me, but it doesn't matter. Food is fuel. So I'm going to do like probably one and a half like one heaping spoonful of brown sugar i like it like cooking with brown sugar like we're gonna start with like that much i know that looks like a lot but i like love brown sugar so sue me this is the oatly barista edition i'm gonna pour it till it's like covered like that much and I'm gonna just stir it all together. Give it a little bit of a... This is like me shaking it. This is the Starbucks espresso. I'm gonna fill it the cup like halfway up. And then I'll like whip 
all of that together. <sighs> so good. A whopping scoop of ice, because I like it iced. I'm gonna put a little bit more espresso in here. I don't normally drink it out of a straw, like if I get it from Starbucks, but when I drink coffee at home, I just use my reusable straw. It's hard because Starbucks uses like the brown sugar syrup, so they're not gonna have like chunks of brown sugar at the bottom, but. No, this is so good. I ate this up. Mm -hmm. I remember which TikToker said it. I feel like it was like acquired style or someone, but she literally was like, if you're not excited to drink like your homemade coffee, like you're doing it wrong. And I was like, you're so right. Cause I would like make coffee at home and like, it was fine. It wasn't like bad. But I would like always be like afraid to put sweetener in it and like stuff like that. I also, I was a little bit mentally not well, but I just would like be scared to like put stuff in it. So I was like black coffee, black coffee, which don't get it twisted. I actually do love like black cold brew, um, but I obviously love a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso more than I like a black cold brew but I kept buying it from Starbucks like every day for like $7 and I was like, what am I doing? Like, why don't I just make it at home? So I finally bit the bullet. All right, I just ate low key fire. I will never recover from how good that coffee was. Why did I not do this sooner? I'm just like so used to, you know, like when you move out on your own, I don't know if anyone has experienced this, like being in like a college dorm or apartment or just like out on your own post-grad or whatever. Um, when you're in like your childhood home or whatever, you're so used to having like spices and sugar and flour and just like basic necessities and I feel like when you finally move out on your own you just like don't have things like brown sugar I always have brown sugar but I never bought it here because like something so minor really just changed my whole morning so yeah you forget you forget basic little things that require you to live which is so silly but besides the point um, I'm gonna sit down because I don't want to stand anymore, but I was toying with the idea of going to a park or something like I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do Side note if you're watching this drew Sorry, I'm no longer fussy. I literally just like Screamed at drew over text because he said he didn't want to go to magic kingdom with me after work <laughs> No shit. He's tired. I don't know why I like took that so personally but I like I don't know why I woke up like in such a fussy mood um I'm off from work today but like no one else is and I was like triggered because last night I got off work and like went to bed like I didn't do anything and I'm a very independent person I do like to socialize and I think that that is something that like especially moving down here to Florida and like making such great friends has changed significantly about me like in college I did like to socialize and like in high school I did like to socialize but like I also was like okay staying in because no tea no shade sometimes my friends drained me but like I feel like my friends down here like none of them really drain my social battery like I don't know they all fill my cup and I love them all so much so whenever they're busy and I can't hang out with them I get so mad like I why did I just like actually get pissed at Drew that he wouldn't hang out with me but it's okay because Gabby is off today so I can hang out with Gabby like I don't I'm manic like I literally texted everyone at like 8 a.m and was like why is no one answering me to hang out with me it's 8 a.m Lily like no one else is awake me and Gabby are gonna go to magic later this evening it is supposed to storm like it says that there's a 50% chance of like storms from four to five, which I mean, that's Florida. Like it will probably like drizzle for two seconds. But with that, um, I was debating going to the pool to like, you know, relax and have a pool moment. But I mean, the UV is still, let's see what the UV, the UV is still six, which is like pretty high, but it's like fully really cloudy right now. And I feel like it's just humid. So I don't really feel like laying by the pool right now. 
I mean, I'm gonna, it is only like 1030. So I'm gonna like give it a half hour and see if like the sun pokes out a little bit. In the meantime, I think I'm, I am gonna just like put YouTube on and watch my YouTube subscriptions and just kind of relax and watch the sky. Um, it's not gonna rain anytime soon. It's just supposed to be partly cloudy. The sun starts to peek through and it gets a little brighter. I'll transition over to the pool. But right now, I think I'm gonna just chill and watch YouTube from inside because it's kind of humid and cloudy, so. I've literally been sitting in my bed watching YouTube and reading on my Kindle, but you know what? It's my day off, so like I deserve to relax, but I am gonna go eat lunch. All I've done is sit and eat, <laughs> but sue me, I'm a human. But I have leftover pasta that I made for dinner last night, so I'm just gonna heat that up. And I'm probably gonna switch gears and start getting ready for my park day because it's gonna get late and I don't wanna waste the day. So let's heat up the pasta and then we'll figure out what the vibe's gonna be for the park. I just ate my pasta real quick and now I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm having like an episode where like my hair is greasy. I just like, I'm like, mm, but I think I can turn myself around. I'm gonna do my hair first because I feel like that is like what's really like making me spiral. But I don't wanna wash my hair today because like Sunday is normally my hair wash day, which is tomorrow. Um, so I was like, I don't wanna push it, but Normally, like, like if I was, like, going to work, I would just slick my hair back, but I feel like I want, let me probably put my camera up on a off. I feel like I want to, like, have my hair, like, not down, but, you know, like, I don't want it just, like, slicked back in, like, a braid because I want to take pictures at the park tonight, so that's why I feel like I'm, like, spiraling, but I feel like I could just curl it. I don't know why I'm, like, being so dramatic. Let me just go do my hair. I like, I don't know. For starters, I just put my contacts in because I feel like that was making me a little bit mental, but I put heat protectant in. I'm gonna section this hair off. I think I just have to curl it with an iron and hope for the best. And then I can just like load it up with dry shampoo after the fact. To my understanding, you do dry shampoo after you put heat. You don't want to put heat on hair with dry shampoo in it because it'll just fry it off. It's really humid out, so like I don't even know if my hair's gonna hold this, unfortunately. And here, I have this old reliable hot tools curling iron. She has been through it all with me, but her like clamp is broken and she's on her last straw. I just got this biobionic one, but I got it's like covered in dust. I just got the, I think it's the one and a half inch. So it's a pretty big barrel. So it only does like a loose curl and I feel like it's too humid. Like my hair's not gonna hold that, you know? So like, I don't know if I should use like the newer one that's nicer and do like the looser curl or if I should use my like raggedy older one for like the tighter curl. Let's do the tighter curl because I think I'm gonna do a big messy ponytail and that's not gonna work with like a loose beach wave. I think I need like tight curls. Just curled my hair. I'm gonna let these curls cook and do my makeup off camera. And I'll come back with my final hair and makeup. I, uh, mm -mm, I don't know. I think I'm just like, I need to see the full vision, you know? So we'll be back. I just finished getting ready. Um, my hair, I didn't like shake it out or like put dry shampoo or anything in. It's just hairsprayed. And then my makeup is my makeup. Um, I need to get dressed still. I just threw this on while I did my makeup because it's easier to get off so I didn't get makeup and mess up my hair taking off my like other little t-shirt type of top. But I'm feeling really uninspired outfit wise. Um, I know I definitely want to take pictures and like be cute because I literally haven't been to Magic Kingdom in forever. But I'm just like not sure what I want to wear. I also think it's going to be like hot. It's 91 degrees out. And all my like cute outfits I always want to wear always have to do with a sweatshirt. Like, why is life hard? I'm trying to think. I feel like I just bought a bunch of t-shirts from. All right, I think this is the fit because it is starting to rain. So inevitably, like if I do get a little bit wet, I'm gonna want to put a sweatshirt on because I'm gonna get cold. But it's super casual. It's like a Walt Disney World, like for the um, 
fiftieth actually was released, but it's like of the um, like opening day like ticket like design. Like it says like October first, nineteen seventy one. But yeah, just wanted to go classic Disney, super comfy, and I think I'm gonna wear my like classic Mickey ears, and I think I'm gonna use my little. Wait, where is it? Ah, here it is. I'm gonna use this little bag and put Mickey on it. But yeah, I think Gabby is gonna drive, so I'm gonna head to the drive. What? Head to the rideshare loop, so let's get going. All right, I'm heading to the rideshare loop for Gabby to pick me up. All right, um, I've like teleported to Magic Kingdom. I haven't vlogged since the Flamingo parking lot, but Gabby's here, she picked me up, we parked. We actually, we did kind of a lot. We visited Drew and Anthony at work. We went to Starbucks. We both sucked down that Starbucks. Sorry. Uh, sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Phone did not eat first. And now we're at the castle. Here she is. Loving and passing. Coming at you for one night only. Oh, and exclusively in the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> well, we're just gonna figure out like what we want to do. It's low key hot as like, like hot. But you know, it's Florida, so what did we expect? Whoever. But we're gonna go play. <laughs> She's just like me for real. We're in line for Peter Pan's play. It was only 50 minutes, but we've been in line for like, I'm gonna say probably, no, I'm gonna say we've probably been in line for like 20 minutes and we're already like through the bedroom. Just ring the bells, yeah. But we're through the bedroom, and once you go through the bedroom, you just have to like sneak through to get on. So, not even bad. Hey girl. I love her so much. The bullseye! <laughs> I'm like, I'm here for you, and you only. for magic um fireworks were starting we ended up watching it from a little bit from the train station um with some of the co-workers but me and gabby ultimately like we knew our place we had a dip but yeah we ended up going to the confectionery to get a tree i got popcorn because we were able to use our cast discount there so i made my own popcorn it's in the fridge right now because i like mine to like harden and turn into like a bark like consistency so i'm letting it harden before i munch on it but yeah in the meantime i'm gonna put some pajamas on and wash up for bed i'm not gonna wash my hair yet because tomorrow's hair wash day but i'm definitely gonna take a body shower because i'm sweaty and nasty so i'm gonna do all that i'll come back when i'm in pajamas i just washed up i'm obviously literally in bed but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here unfortunately for the rest of the evening i think i'm gonna just watch tv until i fall asleep um i had such a fun day at the park with gabby really glad i got to go to magic kingdom um we really only did 
Pirates and... Yeah. Did we only do... I think we only did Pirates and Peter Pan, but still, it was just so nice. I literally feel like I haven't gone to Magic Kingdom in so long, so it just felt nice to visit my friends at work, and it was giving so early college program, but yeah. I had such a great night. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!